are now on the record. This is the videotaped deposition of Charles O. Holliday, Jr., taken by the plaintiffs in the matter of Kiger et al. versus E.I. DuPont, Dina Moores, and company. Raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth? I do. Uh, please state your name. Charles O. Holliday, Jr. And are you presently employed? Yes. What is your position? I'm the chairman and chief executive officer of the DuPont Company. In DuPont's most recent filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission, you state, quote, based on over 50 years of industry experience and extensive scientific study, DuPont believes there is no evidence that PFOA causes any adverse human health effects or harms the environment. You signed that legal filing, correct? I don't recall the exact statement, but that sounds right to me. Are you aware that DuPont has in its own files studies dating back to the 1970s that say just the opposite? That PFOA, or C8 as it's called, has potentially life-threatening effects on human health? I'm not familiar with the exact studies. We may have in our files. Then I'll take you through them. Uh, exhibit 9. Uh, you were just handed Exhibit 9. Uh, you see the date, March 13, 1979? Yes. You see the DuPont logo at the top? Yes. Do you see this word here highlighted? Yes. Would you read it for me, please? Receptors. Do you know what that word refers to, receptors? Um, in this context, I do not. It means human beings. DuPont refers to the men and women that your company exposed to C8 as receptors. And in these receptors, your scientists found, quote, significantly higher incidence of allergic, endocrine, and metabolic disorders, end quote, as well as, quote, excess risk of developing liver disease. Do you see that? Yes. Moral, you have infertility at Teflon, occurrences of leukemia. You have excess of cancers, bladder, kidney, oral, pharynx. Next paragraph, 78. You see that heading? You see that date? You see that? Exhibit 96. Exhibit 53. I'd like to move on to birth defects. We've gone almost seven hours. Mr. Holliday, you're aware that in 1981, 3M notified DuPont that it had conducted studies on rats, and these studies showed that sustained C8 exposure can cause facial deformities? I'm not aware of a study by 3M. How about DuPont's own studies that showed the same thing in humans? That's DuPont's pregnancy study from 1981. Does that look like a DuPont document? It to looks you? to be. Are you aware that DuPont has denied that any such study ever even took place? I'm not familiar with specific statements we've made about that. Seven Pregnant women, all DuPont employees, all from the Teflon line. Do you see this here? Quote, child, four months, one nostril, eye defect, end quote. Yes. Two of the seven women, nearly 30%, gave birth to babies that have the exact facial deformities that your company already knew We're about. We're done here. Sir? His parents named him Bucky. Bucky Bailey. This is your receptor. Now we're done.
EPA concluded the company failed to report the health dangers of C8 used in the manufacture of Teflon. DuPont will pay the EPA $16.5 million. It earns a billion dollars in profits from Teflon each year. To recap, we've agreed that DuPont will clean local water supplies, installing filtration systems in all six water districts. Additionally, DuPont will pay $70 million in cash to the class. Three days revenue on the Teflon line. Which leaves our most challenging issue, medical monitoring. We've agreed to establish an independent science panel comprised of three scientists who have no relationship to either side. This independent panel will study the members of this class to determine whether C8 exposure has led to increased incidence of disease in this region. If the panel finds that there are probable scientific links to a particular disease, the health of everyone in the class will be monitored for that disease in perpetuity at DuPont's cost up to $235 million. And any class member who develops that disease can sue DuPont for damages. However, if the science panel fails to establish probable scientific links, then this case is over. No monitoring, no lawsuits, no exceptions. Good. Well, gentlemen, you are now officially in the hands of science. Well, wouldn't have pegged you as my tight guy. It's festive. Wouldn't have pegged you for that either. <laughs> we have something to celebrate. Yeah, do we? How do we know that the panel is going to prove that DuPont made all these people sick? Look, I'm no scientist, but even I know you need huge amounts of medical data, not to mention thousands of blood samples and from people who don't trust us. Hey, folks, we want to stick you with some needles. You won't mind me. <laughs> I know these people. They're going to take the money and run. <laughs> 